Fratbox and Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Luna Love Good bauble, as well as one inspired from the Chudley Cannons logo. Okay, for this you're going to need some half baubles. Make sure you buy the ones that split all the way in half, not just fill from the top. A whole bunch of colourful ribbon. It doesn't really matter what colour. For this one I've got some blue, white, gold, purple and some silver gems. You only want the silver, the gold kind of stands out and looks terrible. So just half a dozen or so little gold, little silver sparkles. If you bought a double pack, save the gold because it can be used for doing other colours, other different baubles that I will be showing you in another video. Okay, your first step. Okay, so you need to glitter as well and just some PVA glue or any craft glue that dries clear and your glasses, which I've already pre-cut. I just printed these from a picture online. Choose your favourite, it doesn't matter. Okay, so step one to making Luna is going to be to paint the inside of your bauble. What you want to do is just dot the glue around. Just really random because you don't want to coat the entire ball wall. You just want it to be all sporadic. So go ahead and do that to both sides. And then you need to add your pink glitter to your ball wall. Just tip it into one half. You sort of want about a teaspoon of glitter then securely put your bauble together and shake it around. Once you feel you've coated all your glue spaces, just go ahead and tip the excess glitter out. Once you've got rid of your excess pink glitter, Grab your brush again and just go in between where you had pink and doing your random glue spatters. And once you've done your second glue of glue, grab some silver glitter. Obviously the colours are up to you. And again, about a teaspoon of glitter. You need enough to be able to shake it around, so don't be too stingy on the glitter. And shake again. Once you've done that again, get rid of the excess glitter and leave your bubble open to dry. Okay. While that's drying, we're going to secure the glasses on the front. Now you need a little bit of double sided tape for this. I just have these little squares. What you want to do is just glue it to the very middle middle of the glasses because your glasses only attach to your bauble by the center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the excess. It's easier to trim it once it's attached to the glasses than it is to pre-trim because you want that full coverage because it's only attached by such a small point. Once you've done that, set those ones aside. Now you're going to need some ribbon. I've got some decorative purple ribbon, which I'm just going to roll. You just want it to roll up so it'll fit in the bauble. 
and then I have some normal wrapping ribbon that you can use to curl. So you just want to curl those ones up. So I've got some blue. Go ahead and curl all your packing ribbon. It gets very sticky once it's... You just use the back of your scissors and run it along. Try not to cut yourself, obviously. If you're not confident using the scissors, any straight edge will do, as long as it's metal. Even a metal ruler works. Once you've got all your sparkles curled, we'll just push those to the side because we're still waiting on the bauble to dry. We'll move on to the next one. Now this one I sort of got inspired by the Chugly Cannons logo. There's glitter from Luna all over my bauble, but that's all right. Now for this one, I've got a little piece of orange ribbon. Try and get as bright a ribbon as possible for this one because they did have a very bright orange logo and then I have some bright orange foam that I've cut into two C's which I'm going to loop together to form the front of the logo. I'm just going to trim this one because that doesn't actually look like a C. That one's a bit better. Okay, so what you want to do is stick them onto the front of the ball ball. I'm just using double sided tape again for this one. So what you want to try and achieve is the one C down. And then the other C. Just kind of looping into it like that. And then I also have two little brown circles of foam. You could also use felt or even paper would work just to be the bludgers that zoom around the logo. And then put all your sparkles inside the ball. And clip it closed. Now I didn't mention this when I started but make sure you line up your C with the top of your bauble otherwise it will be off centered and won't hang properly. Now these ones it just clips back on and then hang them on your Christmas tree as normal. Now we'll go back to Luna hopefully it's dry enough yes now the next step is to simply add all your pretty sparkles into the bubble. A few people have suggested using shells as well, which would give it a nice effect. Now obviously I have a heat lamp over my workstation, so it will take longer to dry under normal circumstances. Once you've got it closed, attach your top just to hold it in place and secure your glasses to the front. Now you're only attaching them by the very middle so they kind of look three dimensional. And just again try and line it up so it's nicely in the middle. Now for this one I have used another piece of the purple ribbon to attach it at the top. But again you can use whatever colour you like. 
thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed our video, please subscribe.